Hello, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So uh, before we get into today's fragrance review, like a few other reviewers have done recently, I've decided to diversify the content on my channel a bit. So I'm not gonna just give you fragrance reviews anymore. And I really wanna share my other big hobby, which is uh, online gaming. I have so much fun doing this. So uh, let, let's just go to a little bit of gameplay footage now. And uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy this new aspect to the channel. Okay, let's make it a good game, buddy. Here we go. Okay, fire, come on, take him out. Yep, I got him. D take that, you mother f Die, die, kill. Come on, take it. You, you, what, you, you got him? Yeah, you, you, you get him, I'll get the other mother f Let's take these sons of f down. Die, die, come on, kill him. Die. I don't care what side he's on, just shoot them all, take them all out. Come on, screw it. Come on, you mother f Let him have it. Okay, that's enough now. Yep, yep. Thanks for playing. Yep. Now remember that be a good boy, do what mummy says, and and go to bed like a good boy when she asks. Okay. Okay. Night, night. Lots of love. Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be having a look at one of the newest releases from Dua Fragrances and this one is called Best Citrus Ever. This is their take on a fragrance by Henry Jacques, a very expensive fragrance house and the fragrance is called Iroa. I'm going to put the name on the screen. I've tried to look up the pronunciation so I hope I've got that right. Iroa, something like that. Um, so. Very exclusive range of fragrances. Masham Raza uh, found this fragrance in Harrods, I think, in the UK, and was really stunned and taken with the bright naturalness of the citrus uh, scent that he smelled there. And he wanted to bring it out in a Dua version because, of course, many people, most people on this earth, will not be able to afford the price of apparently £500 for just 10 mil of the pure parfum, but still, uh, of the original fragrance. So they're an incredibly expensive line of fragrances. I looked online and it seems it seemed to be mainly 15 mil was their normal size of extract or pure parfum. Uh, and uh, they were retailing around about the 450 to 550 mark, depending which one you pick. So incredibly prestigious, highly priced fragrances. I've got a small sample of the original and Dua's version, so let's find out what it's all about. So the Dua version will cost you $65 on their website for 30 mil. So it's, it's, you know, it's not really cheap, but of course it is considerably more affordable than the original version. Notes then on this one, and this is the same for the original and the Dua version, we've got Neroli, Lemon, Lemon Leaf, Iris, Lavender, Sandalwood, Labdanum and Vetiver. So, how does this one smell? I've been wearing the, the Dua fragrance for quite a few days. Most days I've been wearing this one. Um, it is a really, really beautiful, crisp, invigorating, natural smelling citrus fragrance, a citrus aromatic, I would say. Um, it's got neroli and lemon lift listed in as notes uh, that are officially there. I would have said, I, I would swear I smell some bergamot in there and it's one of those really nice citrus openings, but it doesn't obviously smell like lemon or really blatantly that it's all about neroli. So it's hard to pick out one citrus element, but it's a, a, a kind of mixture of really nice, crisp, natural smelling citrus with, I feel a very aromatic kind of herbal, thing in there as well, although you don't really, you've got lavender in there, so that's that's one aromatic note, I guess, uh, but there could be some others, I think. I feel like there's more in this than's listed in the notes. Iris is in there as well, sandalwood, there's a certain creaminess in the dry down on the fragrance, and definitely a masculine kind of woody feel, so fans of um, real classic kind of citrus aromatic fragrances might find this one really appealing, perhaps that's why uh, I've been gravitating a little bit towards this one. Dura, of course, sent me this one for free. They do send me quite a few fragrances now and again, and I don't automatically do a, a video saying that I like each one that they send, okay? So that I've got quite a few that I'm still testing out, seeing if I like them. There's been at least one or two that weren't quite my cup of tea. So I try and just share things on my channel, mostly that I'm enthusiastic about, and uh, this one fits into that category. So that's why we're talking today about best citrus ever. I love citrus fragrances, so of course the name makes me think, I wonder if it's the best citrus ever. 
unlikely that we can ever really uh, quantify what is the best citrus fragrance ever and I, I certainly not going to give that crowd to this one at this stage how does it compare to the original of course that's important now they only sent me a small sample understandably because it's exceedingly expensive so I've got some on a card and a bit on skin here um, yeah, the original again, the same kind of description, beautiful, fresh, invigorating citrus. The opening seems a little bit more fruity and it did seem a little stronger just in the first few minutes when I sprayed the original compared to the doer version. After about half an hour when I've sp smelled them side by side on paper and skin, it becomes very, very difficult to tell them apart. So as usual with doer fragrances, I think they get within that kind of 90-95% similarity range, but with all clones or inspired expressions, whatever you want to call them, there is nearly always some difference that you can tell if you dig in. So uh, I think do a, do a great job and you know, much higher quality to me, the smells than some of the sort of 10, $20 fragrances, 20 pounds fragrances out there that are from cheap clone houses, some of which are still quite good. But I do think you get a, a little bit better than that with the do one. So the price for the do, of course, 30 mil for 60, five dollars not incredibly cheap they do have high concentrations of oil and usually very good performance so let's talk about the performance this is a very delicate elegant refined style of scent uh, it's crisp it's masculine it's definitely a citrus freshy and so it's it's not the strongest doer fragrance in performance that i've smelled so far it's a good decent performer the uh, sillage bubble the projection is just polite and good uh, but not really beast mode as some of the other doer fragrances can be uh, i find longevity as usually the case with their stuff is really good it lasts really well and it goes through some really nice phases on the skin and when you pick it up and maybe smell your shirt the next day a very nice development towards a little bit more of a spicy woody undertone with this one and uh, something of a classic feel for me it certainly doesn't smell dated it's not really oak moss but for example I know Masham Raza is a big fan of Boada Portugal from Creed that one also has a really really nice citrus opening and it's crucially got some lavender and sandalwood in the base and I think vetiver so if you're a fan of Boada Portugal this has some elements that remind me of that a little bit but it's more about the citrus the citrus is more strongly accented so really really nice classy citrusy fragrance will appeal to fans of creed citrus scents aqua de palma that kind of thing if you like dior's eau sauvage now of course the original fragrance is outrageously expensive i would not pay that for anything i don't believe that iroir by henry jacques is so much better that it could possibly be worth that kind of money that it's you know 10 20 times more expensive than a, even a Creed or a Zerjoff or a Tom Ford. It's certainly, you know, it's very good and it compares to those in smell, but it's not that much better. So for me, that kind of fragrance is just ridiculous. And that's the beauty of this because they are bringing us something that most people just couldn't consider uh, spending that kind of money on at all. However, it's not cheap, 30 mil for $65. It's, you know, it's a little bit of an outlay for a relatively small bottle. At least you don't have to buy, you know, they do offer this small size, so that outlay is not huge. So you'll have to take your own decisions on whether a fragrance like this is, is worth that kind of money. For me, it does offer something that does have a nice feeling of exclusivity that no one else is gonna be wearing. Uh, it's got a really, really nice classy feel and a nice performance performance solid not the biggest beast mode performer ever but a really really exquisite classy smell I'd be very happy to wear this to work uh, to, for evenings out as well it's very versatile you can wear it in all seasons and it's really really classy and beautiful so let me know what you think about doer fragrances or about this video in general I would say that most people buying this one reading the note listing who find that appealing will find that this is a very satisfying very beautiful fresh invigorating and classy fragrance the debate will continue to rage of course about doer fragrances and as long as you keep it civilized feel free to let us know your thoughts down there in the comments below so thank you very much for joining me as ever whatever you're doing in life let's project i'll see you in the next video bye bye